hello everyone today i have brought another wonderful video specifically related to the printing issues of the documents like magazines product catalog ebooks and different things so whenever you design an ebook or magazine in adobe indesign so the main issue is to export the pdf that is compatible for the printing process so let me go through an image that explains why we are going to uh, have a look at this tutorial so as you can see in this image whenever you design any ebook or any magazine or any product catalog and send it for printing purpose basically if you have designed a document in a4 format it will be printed printed in a single a3 sheet that is being divided into two parts on half of the region of the a3 sheet one page will be printed and the other remaining part will contain the other a4 size side as you can see that on a single sheet of paper it will be page number eight and the corresponding page that will be printed will be page number one similarly if we are going to have a look at the page number 16 so it will not contain page number 17 on the right hand side as we normally look in our pdf it will have to contain the page number nine on the right hand side and that is how the ebook or the magazines are printed so let's come here in adobe indesign as you can see that we have a 40 page document over here and we have already incorporated the margins bleeds that is necessary for the printing process that is although a different topic uh, so when we export it as pdf we go to export when we export it uh, like adobe pdf print because we are going to adopt for the printing process so here you can see that we can select the range we can select the pdf as pages or spreads or let's use the spread for this time as we are going to go for the printing process and simply click export okay so here you can see that it has transformed our pdf into the spread and it has placed the page number side by side like we can see page number two over here page number three page number four over here then page number five so if we print this on a single a3 sheet page number four will be printed next to page number five that is not desirable that is not the actual case and this will create problem in the printing issues so that is why we are going to learn how to print a booklet in adobe indesign and one thing that i want to mention that whenever you print the document ebook or something else you need to have for the number that is divisible by four like you have to have pay total number of pages as 12 16 20 24 28 32 then it is always going to work perfectly now let's see the other option let's first of all make the mode as preview so basically that is the preview mode like we are going to have a look at our printing output like this for that purpose in order to resolve this issue we are going to make use of the options of print booklet okay go to print booklet okay select the pages like we are going to have 40 pages so we have we are going to select all pages we can have the change in bleeds but we are going to use the document bleeds okay and here is the preview from here we can adjust the print settings here we have various options that we can set we can adjust the marks and bleeds bleeds we are going to use the document bleed settings and then we have the general okay the everything else looks fine and let's export it as pdf now it is automatically generating the booklet in pdf format and we do not need to make sequence or order of any of the pages it will work automatically for us okay so we can see that it has exported the pdf as booklet and you can see that we had the front cover on page number one and the last page cover on the page number 40 but what it has done it has automatically placed the front page and the back page on a single sheet of paper because obviously when we are going for the printing process we need to print the front cover and the back cover on a single sheet so it has al already done for you and as we scroll down we can see that page number two is across page number 39 page number 38 on the left and page number three on the right so it has automatically generated the order that is perfect for the printing process and we do not need to worry about our ordering as which page is going to on the right hand side on the left hand side of the subsequent page so it has made our life easier okay so one bonus thing that i want to share with you people because many people do not prefer creating magazines or ebook in adobe indesign so i am also one of them so let's take an example if someone has created an ebook or magazine in adobe illustrator let's suppose i have generated this ebook in adobe illustrator and i want 
to send it it for the printing process we have the options of uh, incorporating bleeds and margin in adobe illustrator but we do not have any other option for the printing process if we're going for the uh, ebook or magazine printing so here we can see that we have an ebook so what we can do we can generate the we can create the ebook in adobe illustrator save it as pdf and export it you have exported the file in pdf format and now you can uh, create the booklet in adobe indesign so what we have to do as i told you earlier that we need to have the number of pages that is divisible by four so right now we have nine so we what we have to do we have to make at least 12 pages so i have just added the dummy pages 12 and then you have to export it as pdf so it will work fine otherwise we will make adjustment in adobe indesign as well okay let's keep uh, the pdf as we have already exported one thing you also need to do make sure that you always make the canvas size in adobe indesign that is same in adobe illustrator okay we are going to create a new document in adobe indesign and we are going to maintain the height and the same width that is already there okay and then save it now we are going to import the pdf that we have created in adobe illustrator what we need to do go to window utilities then we have script first of all you have to go to script then from here you will go to uh, application then you have to go to script and in the script you will find place multi-page pdf over here and from here you can simply select okay okay so what it has done it has placed your pdf that you created in adobe illustrator is now imported in the adobe indesign okay now we want to create the print ready booklet here so what we going to do we are going to repeat the same procedure even if you do not design an ebook in adobe indesign you can still import the document the pdf that you have created in adobe indesign then export it as a print print ready booklet pdf and the file will be ready for to go for the printing process without any issues i hope you must have liked this tutorial so keep learning keep sharing and thanks for watching